Good. 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 Um, so he has a little tear in the lateral ligament, collateral ligament. So um, he will be out probably three weeks. Um, uh, big blow. Uh, he was one of our most important players. Um, he creates a lot of dynamics. Was always decisive. Um, yeah, even in bad spells, he was the one who put the balls where <laughs> where it was. Uh, where we made the difference, uh, yeah, we will have to find new dynamics without him because he made our game flexible. So big blow, but hopefully three weeks and with the winter break in between, yeah, winter break, a few days. But uh, it seems to be where injuries are hitting this season, doesn't it? At the back again. Mm. Uh, just looking at it, it seems as well there's been an atmosphere around the club that you've been quite relaxed during the, the transfer window mm -hmm. to not bolster it. That, yeah. that back line. We saw obviously Conor Bradley have a, an impact at the weekend. Yeah. Should mention actually Bobby Clark having an impact coming in in midfield. Yeah. Well. Probably like the way they took the yellow cards when they needed to when Arsenal yeah. could take it on the break. But how much is the relaxed attitude around transfers down to the emergence of players like like Conor, like yeah. Conor, of course, as well? Yeah. So um, two things. We spent a lot of money in the summer, so we uh, we really invested in the squad. Uh, the ownership really. Uh, brought in the right players and um, so this means that um, uh, even when you hit injuries at the moment uh, they will be back in not that long uh, hopefully so um, I think the difference between a good season and a top season is when you are going through these phases uh, how the squad reacts when players are missing so more going how does Jota, Cody, Darwin, Lucho, how they step up, Harvey um, and then we always believe in the academy as well. So um, I think um, one thing is that uh, you want to produce your own players to be able to fight, to compete and to win prizes. The other reason why we have an academy and 250 players there running and dreaming and hoping is that in these moments where it's harder and when a season gets tough in terms of injuries, that they can back you. And they so far, they always did. Um, Look to Conor Bradley, he comes in, Martinelli comes in, fresh to go 1v1 constantly and Conor, uh, maybe the first one not, but the big diagonal he couldn't clear, but after that he, le he reads, he learns and he can clear two or three, 1v1 against Martinelli, first one he gets outplayed, the second one he learns and he closes the outside better. So these boys, they learn at the same moment and uh, I think Conor and, Brad Conor and Bobby, they are not uh, backup players, they are part of our squad. Um, they are young, hungry, and they are made for games like this. Uh, look what happened with Jurel. Sorry to continue talking, but look what happened to Jurel. Uh, we we put him in uh, Newcastle when we were with ten men, and after that, he feels our trust. He knows that we we really can rely on him, and he makes the steps he makes. Young players just need opportunity. They don't need criticism, they just need trust from the coaching staff. And that's what we try to do. So these two boys, uh, really good, but we have more of them. Uh, yeah. Do you have Virgil available again, Shabazz Lai, when's he back, and Thiago, is he a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, so um, Virgil uh, ran yesterday um, while we are doing the training with the, with the subs. So he did a few uh, a few jogs. He looked good. <laughs> he was smiling, speaking. He did together with Jot, so that looked good. Um, now he will be back if he doesn't have a. That's the second thing as well. Huh, that these phases where you get sickness as well. You get players who get ill or staff who get ill. But um, so he looks good. Good to go. Uh, Dom is progressing well on the pitch, running. So he's not far away. Um, Robo is on the third month mark, so he has, a, has another scan. If that goes well, then we can really then we can really decide when to have more contact. What's the tricky thing with this injury? Um, Costas, 
is going quick as expected. So they both, Robo and Costas, will be back probably in the end of this month, training with the team. So then it's still time. Huh? And Stefan and Thiago will be into next month. But uh, no complications, so that's good. Just on the game itself, obviously it's nice to be in a semi-final. <coughs> how much of the mindset is that nothing has been achieved just yet and it's about making the most of the position that you're in to, I suppose, lay down a marker for the rest of the season? You mean this next game or yeah, last game? Well, this next game, just obviously yeah. in the semi-final, you've got yeah. a chance to get to a final. Yeah. Um, and if you were to go on and win that cup final, yeah. then obviously it lays down yeah. a marker. Yeah. I've already done so. No, it? we all dream. No, uh, When we are young, uh, you want to play in the most iconic stadiums in the world, and Wembley is one of them. It, it has so much history and so many memories we already made there. So you want to go there. That's, uh, I think... Uh, the team has this hunger, it's the closest final we can reach, um, but we have to respect Fulham and um, they have a very clear way, um, a good offensive idea, um, really creative, um, especially they can build with three, the outside triangles are really flexible, so they constant interchange positions. They have Jimenez who's back to his old quality, how he was at Wolves, real focal points for them. Um, um, yeah, if, if you let them play, we analyze, and then you see how much problems they can create against the uh, team. And you saw what he did with West Ham, you saw what he did with, did with Forrest, and just now they won Arsenal. Um, so if you let them play, they really play. They do the simple things really, really good. Um, really clear style. Marco does an incredible job, in my opinion. And then you have Andreas Pereira. <laughs> he was my player when he was nine years old at PSV Eindhoven. Unbelievable that you play against him now. Uh, so much creativity. He can play early passes to Kimenez. And uh, yeah, Harry, of course, we know really well. Who has goal threat, who can shoot from everywhere. Great personality. We really like him. So, and then William, who, yeah, nothing to say, no. One of the better players. We really need to be spot on, like in the last game. Our high press, our midfield press, we need to defend them with, uh, with all we have and then put our aggressive attacking style into place. Yeah. And that, um, we saw how dangerous Fulham can be recently at Anfield when they scored three goals. Is that a game that you've looked back on? And is it something that might give them a bit of encouragement coming into the game? Yeah, they will be, they will be the same as us. No? They can reach Wembley, so they will be on top of it. Um, um, how I said, I think... Uh, they deserve more merit, in my opinion, with the squad Marco has and what he's doing. I always hope the players are available. Now, of course, a few going away as well to the AFCON. But Nadia, I like the idea, the offensive idea. So that's what I said. You And they can create from deep what they did against us uh, when they went longer, director. They are good with the second ball and then tricky with the passes to the front players. And when they can start crossing from deep, like uh, fullback early crosses to the second post with uh, the striker or the f opposite fullback who arrives there, then they become really, really dangerous. Uh, yeah, we know we need to be we need to be spot on uh, in all all departments. That's for sure. Yeah. It, it's over two legs, obviously. But there's no away goal rule or anything like mm -hmm. that. So, do you see the tie as two two games as a whole, or do you? Have to look at each one in isolation. In, in the moment where we are, after the crazy December schedule, and two days ago we go to Arsenal, you just look the next game. You're not even thinking about the game after. It's about, uh, uh, and that's also something we we really like. You no, know? we see just the next game as the next final. It clown, sounds cliche, but it is like this, and uh, that's how we prepare. We and uh, we see which players are really available. We look uh, how they are, how they are. And then we make a lineup, and then we go. Yeah. Carl? Yeah. Sorry. Just to go back on, on Trent, um, his skill set has been so integral to how this side has evolved. Yeah. And what they do. So, so how do you, you replace the irreplaceable? No, we have many weapons. So there's no irreplaceable. Oh, there's nobody. That, that's also, Mo goes away, Jota steps up. You know, if the best players are not there, and you play really well, the second half against Arsenal, then um, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. And uh, that's what we always have been done. We're not rely, we don't rely on one or two or three or four players. We're missing 
probably four or five core players for, from our leadership group, uh, Robo, Trent, Mo, and then you have, yeah, so we're missing three from the leaders. So that's, that's, a, that's a blow, of course, and he creates a lot of flexibility from the back, and he, he's this kind of, uh, he can play passes, what the forwards really like to receive, no? and the, he, he has verticality, he, he knows how to decide games, and he, he always sniffs when to put balls where, but yeah, um, I, the squad has a lot of, all the qualities in my opinion but yeah for sure we need to find new dynamics we always do that it's a difference if Wata plays for example or Alexis plays on the six you find different dynamics we always search to become better or to, to evolve the game or to become a more complete team uh, you see what the players you have and you try to build around that it's different if Darwin plays strike or he plays on the left wing if Jota plays strike or that it's complete so we always search in this way So and now we have to find solutions without trend as well but again this squad <coughs> has so much talent <laughs> so much uh, power and uh, and the biggest uh, what we always say as long as counter pressing is there everything else is replaceable <laughs> Off the open? No? Hold on. Wow, quick one. Thank you guys. Thank you.